Thank you, Senators, for meeting. I wanted your input. I'm drafting a bill to further protect the rights of the unborn. I want to bring it to the floor tomorrow. We need to do something about Planned Fatherhood. Absolutely. We have a moral imperative to legislate what men can and cannot do with their bodies. That's right. And of course, we all agree that life begins at erection. No question. Absolutely. But Planned Fatherhood would have you believe that men should have total freedom of choice over their erections. They simply lack the maturity to know what is best for them and for the innocent victims involved. Hey. I believe that a man's right to choose should be limited to boxers or briefs. Mm. We need to do something to eradicate this cavalier attitude that they have when it comes to masturbation. They seem to think they can do it whenever the mood strikes with total disregard for the thousands of lives that they're terminating in a single stroke. It's not masturbation, it's mass murder. It's genocide in a gym sock. I don't even to think. Every man who rubs one out in the shower is literally throwing the baby out with the bathwater. If you're going to masturbate, masturbate into the uterus of an ovulating woman. Mm -hmm. Kids these days, they think if I want to have sex with a woman without getting her pregnant, I'll just wear a condom. Ugh. What a terrible way for sperm to die, suffocating in the reservoir tip of a latex condom. When I picture those innocent sperm faces, like sticky little angels pressed up against that latex shouting, Daddy! You know what, I'm sorry? No, it's okay. These uh, planned fatherhood death peddlers masquerading as health clinics are distributing condoms like their Halloween candy on November 1st. It is time we regulate the male orgasm. Then. That's right, no matter what age. I weep when I think of the number of lives terminated in a single nocturnal emission. Oh, you mean a uh, wet dream? More like wet nightmare. These teenage boys' bedrooms are like a crime sink. Or a Motel 6. Either way. Don't shine a black light on them. It's like the beaches of Normandy. Our boys. They never came home. How are we going to police this? Parents need to be involved. See something, say something. Any unreported stained bed sheets should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Absolutely. You know what they say. Old enough to spray seed, old enough to breed. Indeed. Mm. Speaking of old, can we please include a clause restricting Viagra? Absolutely. Talk about illegitimate erections. If nature's not blowing up the balloon, I'm not coming to the party. I'm not eating macaroni salad after it's expired. If God wanted old men to be making babies, then she wouldn't put cancer in their prostates. Exactly. So, prostate? Oh, I believe it's near the um, uh, perineum. Oh, like a vas deferens? It's like an appendix. Superfluous. You're right. It doesn't matter. The important thing is, I will have a draft of this bill on your desks by morning. Phenomenal work. Thank you, Anne. Mm -hmm. now, thank you, ladies. Mm -hmm. It's incredible what the Senate can accomplish when the male minority don't get in our way. Mm. Here, here. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm.